This is big. Never have so many chefs from around the country gathered to boycott the use of Canadian seafood. The problem with the food isn't the taste. It's what some of the people who fish for it do in the off-season. Slaughter baby seals. More and more chefs are part of the solution in identifying kind of the right food choices from an ethical, moral, environmental and health perspective. And I think that this is so clear. So we want all the chefs who have a conscience about where food comes from to join our effort. For this, their conscience is clear. They're saying no to Canadian seafood because of the industry's connection to sealing. This issue, I think, is one of the issues that's at the crux of food. You know, it, it is uh, the barbaric um, uh, slaughter of, of a, a defenseless animal. And anybody who, ca who cares about food and the nature and the culture of food must protect the value of animals and creatures on the planet. And, and if we don't, we just become irresponsible barbarians. Anybody that's going to condone inhumane killing of any animals, I mean, that's just wrong. More than 80 of the best celebrity chefs in the country gathered to celebrate their alliance in the fight against the seal slaughter. Okay, guys. Everyone looking at me. And the man who inspired so many to join the fight through his pictures got behind the camera again. It's an issue very close to famous photographer Nigel Barker. I have a lot of fun in my business, um, but the fashion business, unfortunately, is responsible for the fur trade. So I take it very seriously. And of course, seal fur, although banned in the United States, isn't banned all over the world. But we're getting closer, and this group of talent makes it clear the hunt must end. Well, it's always great when you get people together on a unified force. and. People are together for one common cause. And it makes me feel very good that to see so many chefs be part of it now. You know, it makes you feel like um, you're living your life in, in a way, you know, way that, that makes an impact. Even a real housewife of New York got in on the cause. You have to give people information that they can digest, they can understand, and make it in a very user-friendly, accessible way. And she says she'll help do that. For now, it's a party with a serious message. It's an affirmation that our campaign to stop the Canadian seal hunt is bigger and better and stronger than ever. And I think this is just another community of people who is saying enough.